Thank you, Greg. All right, get your calendar ready. The city of Grand Prairie wants to help you fill it this summer with tons of exciting places like Epic Waters Indoor Water Park and Ripley's Believe It or Not, some of my favorites. There's a lot to explore in my hometown. The city of Grand Prairie Mayor Ron Jensen and tourism manager Sarah Dedelic. She joins me this morning. They join me this morning with all the fun details. Good morning, friends. Good to be here. Nice Good to, see, to you. see you. Nice to see you. All right, Mayor, we're going to start with you. What are some fun things we can do in GP this summer? Well, let's talk about a, couple, a few things coming up. We've got live thoroughbred racing. That if you go out there tonight, but a week from this Saturday, May 11th, you can bring your dog to the park, and we'll have dog oh. races and horse races. <laughs> dog races, and the, that's yes. great. And then our indoor uh, Epic Waters is open year-round, indoor. But this Saturday, the 4th, we open our outdoor wave pool, a heated outdoor wave pool. Opens up this Saturday, the 4th. Live entertainment, lots of fun things. And then the theater at Grand Prairie, we have some shows this weekend. Bill Gaither will be there for two performances. And then if you want some laughs, come out. Mike Epps will be performing Saturday night. A lot of entertainers coming through Grand Prairie. Sarah, fill me in on maybe some family. Uh, those all seem very family friendly, but more family friendly events happening this summer. You know, Grand Prairie has something for everybody, every family, whether you're staying in the Metroplex or coming in for a, a little mini vacation. Um, just to tag on what Mayor said about Epic Waters, um, you know, there's something for everybody there. There's 11 different slides plus a double flow ride. Rascals Roundup for the little tykes, plus, uh, you know, adding the outdoor wave pool will add um, another um, huge number as far as capacity at Epic Waters. Right. And then if you're more into the lake scene, you can go down to Lloyd Park. Um, you can rent a space and go camping. You can also rent one of the little cabins. Or um, new um, to Lloyd Park this year is now at the lodge, the 18-room lodge, you can now rent a room just like you can like a hotel and stay right there at uh, Jopal Lake in the Oasis. And then, of course, uh, you know, Ripley's Entertainment there in Grand Prairie, where there's five attractions under one roof. Um, the new 7D moving theater is tons of fun. Um, they also have an incredible superhero gallery that is uh, just something to see. A perfect timing right now with all the, the movies called the superhero right. movies coming out right now. Yes. Okay, but it doesn't stop there. What else do you recommend oh my goodness. for okay. visitors in GP? Yes, so Farmer's Market is open every Saturday. And it's a great Farmer's Market. It is. Way, you know, did you know it's uh, America, I mean, uh, uh, number one Farmer's Market in Texas, Actually, according to American Farm Press. I did know that, but I'm glad so, everybody else knows too. Yes, and they have, you know, live entertainment music every Saturday open from about 8 to 1 um, then there's also uh, Texas Air Hogs which is our minor league baseball team um, season opener is May 16th so that's a, a lot of fun very um, affordable family friendly and then um, you know Grand Prairie is, is a shopping destination if you need some retail therapy with uh, with Ikea and then Grand Prairie premium outlets where there's more than a hundred premium stores plus if you're like me and you like to really hunt for that treasure there's Traders Village which um, they welcome uh, uh, 3,200 vendors every Saturday and Sunday selling their wares. So, so. much happening in GP, including yes. this weekend, and I'm actually getting involved. It's a Cinco de Mayo parade. Yes, you are a Grand Marshal. I, oh, I am the Grand Marshal. Yes, I mean, a, so. lot of, a lot of pressure, a lot of responsibility that comes with being the Grand Marshal. Absolutely. Gotta practice my waving. Cinco de Mayo <laughs> in Grand Prairie is like no other. I mean, with the parade um, that's going to happen right there in our downtown on Main Street, the 200 block is where it'll start, right at about 10 o'clock. And then after the parade, there'll be um, lots of activities there around the city hall complex for families, you know, free family entertainment. And then also um, just down the road at Traders Village, um, they've got 20 different bands this weekend, Saturday and Sunday on four different stages. So Cinco de Mayo and Grand Prairie is a good time. Big, yeah. big deal. Yes. Now let's look ahead, Mayor. What can we expect in the future? Well, there along the 161 corridor, George Bush Turnpike is exploding and uh, one of the neatest things, talking about May 16th, mm -hmm. Living Spaces opens up uh, the soft opening May 16th. Huge deal for Grand Prairie, Living Spaces. Then right down the street from it will be main event that's starting construction right now. And just uh, after that, we have just refib refurbished our old, oldest fire station on Main Street, and we've put in a firehouse, gastro park, restaurant, that opens up May 11th. Okay, now I hear that that is a really, really good place to oh, be so is. far. Oh, it is. It's great. A little yes. preview there. A little outdoor uh, theater to, for bands and games. 
fun. And they're actually having a pop-up this Saturday for they Cinco right. de Mayo. So we'll come, come by out to You'll have GP. to stop, take your mom and dad over to <laughs> see it. You guys, so much is happening in Grand Prairie. If there's one thing you got here, it's get ahead to, to Grand Prairie, okay? The Grand Prairie Tourist Information Center is on 2170 North Beltline Road. Here's a number to call. It's there on your screen. It's 800 288 you can also go to visit GrandPrairieTX.com for all the information we discussed here today.